Hello guys and welcome to the third video on my channel. Today we're going to cover an interesting subject and that is Pax Romana when Rome ruled the world. Basically, this is going to be another video about Roman history because I, mean, I want to cover all the Roman emperors and all the historical uh, times of Rome like Pax Romana, uh, crisis, crisis of the 3rd century, Tetrarchy, the divide, the division, uh, gods, and maybe I will dive deeper into the Byzantine Empire and uh, Western Roman Empire. But today we're going to cover this subject, and that, as I said, Pax Romana. So basically, Pax Romana is defined as the historical era from 27 BC to 180 AD, basically from the installation of. Augustus as the first Roman Emperor and the death of Marcus Aurelius and from now on a uh, world period started in the Roman history with the bad rule of Commodus and then the Severan dynasty that spent a lot of money on the military and that that came with some effects. The Roman economy became broke, um, many bribes, corruption and the pre and the Praetorians became very powerful. Oh, let's start. So, basically, in this era, we have a lot of like renowned emperors, like um, Augustus, which was a very good emperor and the first emperor and the longest ruling emperor, Trajan, in which the Roman Empire saw its uh, maximum extent. We have Marcus Aurelius, who was a very smart man. We have. Nero who was a crazy man and born Rome. We have Caligula, again another crazy man. Tiberius, another world emperor, uh, and so on. Here are the five emperors, of course. We have um, Antoninus Pius, which was one of the most peaceful emperors. Um, yeah, so this era was very prosperous for Rome. Rome expanded, it occupied uh, Thrace, Britannia, Mesopotam Mesopotamia and uh, Syria for some time and Armenia of course as well only in 170 AD after that they lost them because uh, yeah we don't dive further Hadrian came and he he didn't continue his he didn't continue Trajan's policy of expand expansion uh, Rome was the most powerful country in the world. The, the world, the legion dominated the battlefield. Oh, okay, there are some, and there are some exceptions like the Battle of the Teutobor Forest, which was a humiliating defeat for Rome. Or the first Battle of Tape, when the Dacians again ambushed the Romans, like in the Teutobor Forest. But these are just ex exceptions. Let me uh, talk to you that. Uh, Romans invaded Dacia, conquered Britannia, defeated the Parthians, and uh, occupied occupied Ctesiphon, their capital. Rome was the most powerful country at in this time. Um, it traded with China, with Persia, with India. Many spices, many silk. A lot of silk came into Rome. Rome became very powerful. Rome, the city of Rome. Uh, grew and it had a million people. So basically, Rome was the apex, was at its apex in this time. Um, the public life was very good. The level of urbanization was incredibly high. The literature, the, the literature, everything developed. The science, a lot of things. Many buildings were built, like the Colosseum or public buildings, like. The f a lot of forums, many cities were built on Dinium, Pororisum in Romania, in, the, in modern day Romania. Many cities de developed, and Rome was basically was basically the center of the world. It traded with the Han Dynasty. Emissaries were sent to the Han Dynasty. Yeah, it was great for Rome. The soldiers were well paid, were satisfied, the armies were very well led, 
a lot of capable emperors like Trajan, Vespasian, Toninus Pius. Uh, Rome had a lot of roads which facilitate trade and army movements. And the wars in Rome fought wars, but not a lot of wars. And they had a lot of peace and prosperity. Pax Romana is basically the Roman peace, uh, in, if we want to translate it, basically the whole period in, Ro in the Roman history when there was more peace than wars. And the wars were successful, most of them. Yeah, Rome basically dominated their foes in technological, cultural, military, economic points of view. That was one of the strongest fleets. It had the strongest army, as I said. The legion dominated everything. And, yeah, m a lot of emperors gave very much attention to uh, administration, provincial administration, uh, many capable uh, governors in regions. So, yeah. Uh, I did a video about Roman emperors from Augustus to Marcus Aurelius, and after that, that video, I wanted to explain basically the period between these emperors, Pax Romana, as I said, the apex of the of the Roman Empire. I hope you liked this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Will subscribe to my channel, press the bell button because yeah, to see when my videos come out. And yeah, I hope you learned something interesting. Goodbye.